Welcome to Baywatch. Our team is the elite of the elite. We're the heart and soul of this very beach. Come on, Pete. Make my pecs a little bigger. And don't cover up my front bump. You got it. Huge dick. Big dick. It's a fun piece of pop culture to me and something that I think everyone's sort of familiar with. But at this point, I think the, the kids out there, if they know the name, they may know that it's on the beach, there are red bathing suits, they may know Pam Anderson, they may know David Hasselhoff, and that's about it. Oh, they might know slow-mo running. So I felt like there was a real opportunity, given all of that, to kind of redefine what it is, what the brand is. Um, and that was exciting because all the movies I've done before were purely original ideas. So there was no intellectual property to deal with. So I, I like the idea of, uh, you know, spinning something familiar into something new. You here for the qualifiers? I'm Matt Brody. I don't have to try out. I've got two gold medals. Hey! Matt Brody. Matt Brody, yes! <laughs> we still don't, don't give, give up. up. Dwayne's character, Mitch, takes himself and the team very seriously in terms of their, the importance of saving lives and all this stuff. And Zach is a bit like the audience's point of view. You know, the outsider who th at first thinks it's so silly that, you know, you, don't people just need to get a suntan and we make sure they don't sunburn and, you know, occasionally s keep someone from drowning? Like, that's what Zach thought it was. And Dwayne and the team's vision of it's very different. It's much more heroic. It's much more about always being vigilant and watching when no one else is watching, protecting when other people don't want to protect. And, uh, you know, Zach slowly is converted. His character, Brody, is slowly converted by Mitch to seeing it Mitch's way. Drugs, murder, dead body on our beach, and it all started once she took over. Some people are up to no good. We're going to have to do what they watch as best. Priyanka Chopra plays the villain. Uh, that role was originally written for a guy, but when I read the script, I wanted it to be a woman just because I thought that was more interesting. And then Priyanka is the only person I ever met for the part. And she, I was, she blew me away. I thought she was amazing. And so I rewrote that part specifically for her and her voice. And I think that she did an amazing job bringing her to life. Why does she always look like she's running in slow-mo? She's the reason I believe in God. Oh. I think the visuals that most people expect from the show are slow motion running and all the things that bounce when running is in slow motion, right? And I thought it was important that we give people a version of that, but then also make fun of it a little bit that that's what they were expecting. So that's what I think we do in this movie is we, we scratch the itch, but then we surprise people a little bit with where we go uh, in the story after, after doing that. Training begins at 0600. This has nothing to do with saving people. He's a refrigerator. This is Baywatch, you pussy. We really go for it in terms of the humor and rated R-ness of it, um, as you'll see when you see the film. And I think also because the action is really different. It's really original. We, we set some of these saves in really unexpected locations, and, and you go places that we haven't really gone before in film. Jason Bourne ain't got shit on me. 